What up everyone, 20.5, the last stinking workout is here. Let's get it started. Wall balls. Two ways that I think you should attempt wall balls. The first would be facing the wall. Um, and you wanna make sure your hips are parallel and that it's in the front rack position initially. But when you start to extend your hips, you wanna drop the wall ball um, so this is actually the second way that I like to do it, and this is the preferred method. Um, so this is going to save your shoulders. It's going to be able to just kind of really, so you can see how quickly I'm moving through this. So let's slow it down for a second. Um, so here I come. You need to make sure, like I said, that your hips are parallel when you start this and that the ball is in the um, front rack position. Um, that's the standard that they have, but... As, as soon as you start to extend your hips and move out of that, all you really need to do is uh, really whatever you want. So um, what I think you should do is exactly what I have here. I would recommend having about 10 to 15 wall balls lined up. So you can just move down the line and really quickly just kind of explode and move through that, um, saving your shoulders and really a lot of transition time. Tip number two, transitions are key. So if you can't do 120 wall balls unbroken, I think the next best thing is to really focus on the transition. So as you can see, the placement of my rower to wall ball is very close, and I like to do a one-to-one -one transition. So what I do is one full pull on the rower, followed by a swivel and then a wall ball shot. Um, this is going to help speed up the process and really make those transitions quick and efficient. Um, as you can see here, I'm really moving quickly, kind of flying through this. Um, so let's just take it at another angle. I think that might help. Um, so here we are at the different angle that I was just talking about. Um, and I take a really big, strong pull um, and then I swivel around, get my wall ball, do a shot. Now, see, I kind of messed up there, but... Um, what we're really looking for is that swivel piece, as you can see right here, just a perfect swivel, um, really no time. And one of the beautiful things about being on the rower is you are actually in that 90 degree parallel position that you need to be in. Um, and so what you want to do is make sure as soon as you shoot that wall ball, you want to just kind of fly back around. Ring muscle up. My best piece of advice for ring muscle-ups is to treat it like a relationship that ended badly. Just avoid it. Move on. You know, acknowledge that it happened and, you know, just, just move on. Um, act like it's not even there if that helps you. Um, if you have to try one, I'd recommend getting a running start, but um, the best piece of advice would just be it's, it's going to break your heart, so don't even try. Scaling option. So if you're scaling, my piece of advice would be um, make sure that you have the proper bands for um, doing these pull-ups. And so what I really, as you can see here, am doing is you want to make sure that there really is no pressure on the um, arms or biceps or anything like that. You really just kind of want to be able to bounce around for a little while. Um, that's going to make you move really quickly. Now, the thing that's going to get you is the transition out of that. Um, so it's also really important that you have the proper amount of bands. Um, so this right here is if you have too many bands, it's going to be really hard for you um, to actually extend your, your leg. And you're actually going to be doing more of an advanced move, which is a, a pull down. Um, and so what we're trying to really do is a push up. So... Make sure you have the correct band and you will succeed, I guarantee it. Yeah.